Hey everybody, welcome to Fishing Planet. My name is the lady. Uh, in the latest video, I described what to do once you reach level 19 and go to Florida and farm bass and farm lots and lots of cash. Um, but I do know that afterwards, uh, you still are a bit stuck in, okay, so I've been there now, what do I need to do next, and uh, where to fish for, uh, what makes the most money, stuff like that. In this video, I will not be showing you everything, uh, there are plenty of videos out there that will show you guys where to farm uh, certain type of fish pieces, but I will give you a couple of pointers. So say you are level 22. Uh, then, oh, let me actually grab the correct uh, one. Here we go. A uh, white moose lake in Alberta. That one is great for farming uh, Atlantic salmon, brook trout, lake trout, northern pike, but also uh, splake. But it's mainly trout fishing that you would like to do over there. Uh, that gives you quite some money, not as much as Florida does, but still, if you need a break, go to White Moose. That one will actually uh, give you uh, quite a lot of money as well. Um, having that said though, I would suggest to stick with Everglades, Florida, until you either reach level 26 and move on to Quanchkin Lake in Louisiana. Uh, note that the costs are a bit higher, but what you want to go after. Uh, alligator gar is not something that you can manage unless you got a heavy float fishing rod. These are the biggest fish in game and they can reach up to 40 kilograms, 45 kilograms, uh, 100 pounds. But you do want to go after a blue catfish, they're great. Flathead catfish is very great. Freshwater drum, that too gives you some money. Largemouth bass does, smallmouth buffalo gives you some money. Spotted bass is uh, what you guys know from Texas already. White bass is, by the way, not giving you a whole lot of money. But there's plenty of bass that you can go after. And then there's also a flathead that brings you a lot of money. <coughs> Excuse me, my voice is giving way. As well as... Uh, blue catfish. Uh, they are great for fishing. They are great also for uh, making money. Uh, these folks, they do fill up your net very fast, by the way. They do fill up your net very fast. They can become quite large. Uh, they have, uh, have a weight that uh, in general is uh, like 30 kilograms and uh, then they can go up as far as 68 kilograms or 150 pounds. So, uh, but you can do just some bass fishing or go after drum. Uh, those are pretty good and like I said, they make you quite a lot of money. Then at level 30, Michigan, St. Croix Lake. That is the place to go, and I think it is one of the places that makes you the most money when you can get to it. Now, uh, as we've seen with Florida as well, uh, here in uh, St. Croix, when you unlock it, you actually would need another level or two before you get the appropriate gear, or you can put on setups that you need. But here, we got salmon that you can go after, a blue catfish that you can go after, brook trap that you can go after. These do not pay a whole lot, but brown trap does, does. freshwater drum, they're great. Musky, musky lunch. Everybody loves uh, good musky. And northern pike, that is some good money. Rock bass, not a whole lot, small of bass. But here you also got a tiger musky and a tiger trap. A walleye, great for money. Great for money. And you got a unique version here in, uh, in this uh, waterway as well. So Michigan will be a very good one. Now if you want to do both some uh, bass but also some carp fishing and then some salmon. Level 34 go to California. It is my most favorite like just the way it looks and what not. Um, here you would go after Chinook salmon. You would go after common carp. Uh, salmon is very active early morning and late evening. Carp comes active a bit uh, later in the afternoon. Uh, at 4 p.m. start fishing. Get a hook, free odd or full odd hook. 
uh, put on some corn or peas, set your leader to 90 centimeters or 30 inches, and fish from deep and then cast towards the reeds. That is the best I, uh, advice I can give you. They're great money. A large amount of bass, you will hook them. Uh, combined with smallmouth bass when you go after steelhead trap and tri uh, striped bass. These two give you a great sport, great uh, game for your money. Like I said, if you want to know how to catch these fish, these type of fish, go watch movies from uh, Hawkeye. He makes great movies on uh, on his YouTube channel. Uh, and KP Shimino. He's got some awesome guides out there. Some guides are a bit out of date, but you will still know the exact location where to fish for all uh, the preferred baits still hold true. Uh, most of the time lead adapts hold true as well. Um, you might just need to uh, adjust it a little bit. Um, but yeah, all in all, great to go after. And here we also have a white surgeon, so that is good. And then of course, once you hit the end game, it's Kinney Creek, level 38 is when it unlocks. Uh, and you can go to uh, to Alaska and farm your heart out for salmon. There are plenty of salmon out there, there's uh, Dolly Ford and uh, they got a Chinook, they got a Chum, they got the Coho, they got the Dolly Ford as I mentioned it. They got a pink salmon, uh, a Salvilnius, a bull trout. <laughs> they actually put the wrong name in it, but uh, at least uh, bull trout and then sockeye salmon. They're great for money, great for money, great for sports. I think in general, um, Everglades, so uh, when you reach level 19, stick to level 30, hop over to uh, St. Croix, then form your heart out for money. Um, if you want to do both float fishing and both lure fishing, and want to have different type of like salmon and bass and carp, go to California and otherwise uh, once you reach level 38 go to Kinney Creek and uh, once you've unlocked this you got access to everything on the map and uh, you will have encountered most fish species that you will also encounter in lakes that I've not discussed in the videos. Um, all in all a couple of pointers that I uh, like to give to you guys as well. Um, I already said in my previous video make sure you got enough money before you go to a lake. So uh, currently I've got 82 grand. Uh, say I would only have 20 grand. That will mean that I could go to Kinney Creek. Uh, but then oh shoot I've got to bring something with me. Uh, that I need there. Say I, I've got to bring my crankbaits. I have to go home again. That is going to set me back 10 grand. Then I have to go back to Kinney Creek. That is going to set me another 10 grand back. And then I will be broke. I would not even have money to make it to the next day. Always make sure that you got at least enough money to cover one travel back and forth before you go to a lake. And like I said, with um, making the jump from Emerald Lake to Everglades, you need 60 grand. It will leave you 20, 40 grand that you're spending on gear. And then it leaves you with 20 grand in the bank. So at least you can make it back and forth a couple of times. Uh, when you level up and when you want to purchase some more gear, stuff like that. Always make sure that, uh, just as in poker, that you do good bankroll management. So that you do not go broke whenever you're jumping lakes. Uh, and like I said, it happens from time to time that you forget stuff. It, it still happens to me. It's just an uh, just honest mistake that everybody can make. Uh, but it will be very, uh, very sour when you go, say for instance, to Kinney Creek, you realize you've got something, you cannot purchase it in the shop there, then you have to make it all the way back home. And then you simply can no longer go to the lake of your choice because you lack money and you're stuck back grinding money. Uh, do not make that mistake, guys, do not make that mistake. So all in all, um, like I said with the previous movies that I've done, um, First off, check what fish pieces there are, uh, check uh, what their weight is, so you can a bit determine as to what uh, size of keep net that you need to bring with you. Check what the preferred baits are, and um, then start fishing. Do not forget stuff like structure, do not forget stuff like preferred bait, do not uh, forget to look around, see where you can find some 
uh, water movement, uh, where you can see some splashing. Also observe what your fellow players are doing uh, and don't hesitate to ask them. If you do not know something, you know, sometimes they are very helpful and they do not mind helping you out in doing stuff. So guys, that is it. Um, this is going to be my last, uh, single last video for YouTube. Uh, I will explain in a farewell YouTube video as to why I'm leaving the game. Um, but this is the last video that I'll be doing about Fishing Planet. Uh, I'd like to thank you guys so much for uh, joining me here on uh, on my YouTube channel, for watching my movies and for commenting on them. Uh, I will make more movies, just not about Fishing Planet, in uh, in the coming uh, months to come. Um, so stay tuned for more, uh, and I'll make sure to put in the description of this video the links to Hawkeye and to uh, KP Shimino. So at least I know that you guys are uh, still in safe hands. They, those guys have made some awesome uh, tutorial videos as well. But with that being said guys, I'm wishing you a good day tight lines. And I'll see you later back again in one of my newer vids. Bye bye everybody.